also known as a frame it provides the protection to rotating and other parts of machine from the dirt humidity etc of the environmental uh, parameters it is iron body which provides path for the flux and and it is made up of cast iron and silicon steel now the another part we define as a pole pole sue and pole core so from this this particular parts we define as a pole this is a pole shoe this is a pole shoe right and the overall this portion we define as a pole core so here it is electromagnet so we are taking the individual part of this this is a pole shoe this uh, field winding is bound over this uh, winding is bound over this pole we define as a field winding this is a part of the pole so here it is electromagnet the field winding is bound over the pole so pole produces the magnetic flux when Field winding is excited, and pole sue is extended part of the pole. Due to the enlarged area, more flux can pass through this air gap to the armature. So it is made up of cast iron and silicon steel. If we, if we further discuss about the field winding, then this is this part of the field winding. Now this this is the field winding which is bound over this pole. Pole. So here the coil bound around the pole core are defined as a field coil. and the field coil are connected in series with each other to form the field winding so here current is passed through this field winding in a specific direction to a magnet uh, to magnetize the pole so here the alternate n and s core are placed together so if this is n let us say this is s if this is n this is s so here alternate poles are uh, uh, are generated here so because of this once it will carry the once it will carry the current that means there is a production of magnetic flux uh, inside this gap right so from this uh, uh, we can also learn about the armature winding so from this armature winding it is made up of the copper and placed in the armature slots so this is the uh, th this is the armature winding it is placed in a armature slots here and this conductors are inner conduct and this conductors are inner connected to form armature winding so when armature winding is rotated using the prime movers it cuts magnetic lines and voltage gets induced in it this is a electromagnetic induction law and it is connected to external circuit through a commutator and brush so this portion we define as a commutator and it is connected here to the brush so from this uh, let us discuss about the commutator the job of commutator uh, and uh, how it is safe so here the cylindrical drum mounted on a shaft along with the armature coil right so this this part is the armature this is a coil and this small portion we define as a commutator where if you enlarge this portion it is looking like this way and this way where there are the commutator lugs are available the insulated copper segments is available so this is a part of commutator and it is in a cylindrical drum mounted uh, form it is made of a large number of wedge uh, shape segments of hard drawn copper which are insulated from each other by a thin layer of mica armature winding is stepped and connected in various segments so what is the function of commutator as you know uh, for a dc generator it converts alternating emf uh, generated internally into a dc voltage so in another way it is a kind of rectifier that will converts that will converts generated emf into a dc voltage and and another function is like for a dc motor it helps to produce unidirectional torque where uh, the end of the commutator there are brushes are connected so here the commutator is rotating but it is not possible to connect a load directly to it so because of this to collect the current from the commutator and apply to the external load because of this we require the alignment of the brushes so here brushes where with the time hence it would be replaced rotationally so it's a kind of maintenance part now this all are are nothing but the different parts of dc machines and uh, generators are usually classified according to the way in that uh, fields are excited so from that uh, you can be able to find total two types of generators one is separately excited generator and another one is a self excited generator separately excited generator required uh, the external force uh, for his field magnet to energize same way uh, in a self excited generators is nothing but a, uh, the field magnets are energized by the current produced by generator themselves so from this uh, you can see the complete tree of the types of uh, uh, 
DC generators here. So you, know, you can see the classification of DC generators where this is a DC generator. There are two types of DC generator as we have discussed. A separately excited where it's required. A separate uh, uh, DC uh, source or external uh, voltage where in a self excited is a within a, a, a within a force is generated. So from from here the self excited uh, DC generators uh, are in three form uh, series bound form, shunt bound form and compound form where you can check the circuits of series and shunt where both uh, armature and field are connected in series. Here armature and field both windings are connected in parallel in a compound you will, you will find the combination of this. So one is a long shot and another one. One is a long shunt and another one is a short shunt. So from this, it, uh, see this this is nothing but a combination of series and parallel. Uh, uh, this is nothing but the uh, field winding and armature winding are connected in combination of series and parallel. This type of connections are there. So like they are classified into uh, series shunt and compound form of self excited uh, DC generators. From this, uh, now let us uh, discuss the comparison of the separately excited DC generator, shunt DC generator and series DC generator. So armature and field windings are not connected with each other in a separately excited generator but in a shunt it is in a parallel and in series it is in a series. So in field current is constant in separately excited generator as well as constant in a shunt DC generator but not constant in a series. Same way the flux here is proportional to the current which is flowing in a shunt winding. Same way for the shunt case but in series uh, here the flux is proportional to both armature current as well as the shunt current or uh, field current. Now here the resistance of field winding is very large for both the cases for separately excited and shunt but very small in a case of the series. If we uh, talk about the different applications of these uh, DC machines then it is used in a uh, tracking uh, uh, traction system, trains, air compressors, vacuum cleaner, swing machines, leg machines, centrifugal pumps, fans, blowers, conveyors, lifts, weaving machines and spinning machines. Uh, all these are applications of DC machines. Uh, thank you dear students. If you find any difficulty, please write in a comment box. Thank you very much.